What's up, people? I'm back to do part two of my drum video here. So this one's going to deal with beat mapping, both uh, manually and with Beat Detective. So the, the irony of Beat Detective is that for it to work right, you have to have things sort of halfway mapped to begin with. It has to know, for example, it's looking at an eight bar section and what to do within that section. So it's not, it's not magic. You kind of got to tell it what to do. So even though I know this was recorded against a click at 100 beats per minute, it's, it's human, so it's going to wander. And I'm going to get really super specific here because I might, I might go in and use virtual drums against it to do some layering. I might put MIDI against it that I want to sync up super tight with the performance. So we're going we're gonna to get deep. One, two, three, four. So here's our one. So I'm gonna hit, I just tab to it with uh, tab to transient on, option command tab to flip that button on and off. So again, just tab to it, hit command I and hit one, enter. So that made my song start right there at that first kick hit, which is the one in the song. Two and three and four and two and, so that hat is two right there. Command I, two, enter. So then you can see already the grid snapped <clears throat> and is lining up sort of vaguely with some of these hits, or more than vaguely, pretty well. But it's going to be weird, right? Because he's human, so then you got to go in and, and keep going. And if you want to hear your click, oh, by the way, what's helpful to do is hit Control Return to go to your song start, hit Option 1, and then I like to change my grid to an eighth note, then hit Apply with it to session end. So then now if we turn on our click by hitting 7 on our numeric keypad... it will be an eighth note resolution. So then I'm gonna go through and get all the broad strokes here. Three. I can bet you that's gonna be five right there. Command I, five, enter. This is gonna be nine. <clears throat> Command tab. Or, I'm sorry, just tab rather. And you can see it's super close, 121028. So it's 28 ticks off of being right on the money. So Command I, and we're just correcting all that. So it's just going to be 12. There are 960 ticks in a quarter note in Pro Tools. So that's little knowledge for you. So again, I'm just trying to get the big ones so that I can use Beat Detective to do the rest. Command I, that's 15. And I, that's 18. That's going to be 22. And I'm just eyeballing stuff I can see is real close and just going through it left to right. That's 25. That's 30. <clears throat> and you do want to do this as much as you can in one track there will be so you know i'm just going along in the kick track there might be a slight <clears throat> caveat to that later that's 33 38 if you're noticing the shorthand i'm doing it's just an easy way for me to not screw up if i go in here well here i'm just hitting the right arrow and then hitting one to zero it out or on some of them I'm just hitting right arrow and hitting five and then that just makes it 47 it's just an easy way for me to do it without thinking about what I'm doing too much oh my gosh right on the money there you go tab 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 just tabbing to the ones command I 51 1 55. Command I, 57. So that, right, that didn't take long. So we went through and we got at least the broad strokes of things. And now with 
beat detective, we can go and get the less broad strokes if we need to. And you might not need to. That could be enough that you have a really nice tempo map. And you can see what I mean, even though this was recorded to a click at 100 beats per minute, you've got all kinds of little tempo variations if we're really mapping this to be exact. Now what you can do is use Beat Detective. And I'm just kind of analyzing how I think I'm going to do it. What I would like to do in an ideal world is use the kick and the hat track a lot of times, but we don't have a hat track, sadly. So I'm thinking about what else I'm going to use. Probably the snare. Yeah. Because we have, that's where we have the most hat. So I'm going to hit control return. And I'm going to go into my, I'm going to hit forward slash on the numeric keypad three times to go eight bars. So I just, to, sorry to not go too quickly. Control return, forward slash one, two, three times. Then I hit eight, enter. So now I have an eight bar selection. Now I can hit command eight. We want to do bar and beat marker generation. I always want to hit, notice the, this is all rubbish. Like it should say one to nine. So you want to hit capture selection. You want to tell it, what does it contain? If you're not sure, better to go too small, or well, too small as in being a quarter note, which is actually bigger in terms of time, but better to go with something like this than something like this because uh, the, with smaller itty bitty notes or you know a higher 30 second note value, you're like, more likely to get some errors. But since I know here that I have 16th notes, I'm gonna go with that. I already clicked capture, doing it again won't hurt anything. Then I'm gonna click over here, analyze. Your different resolutions here, Low is literally low in, in uh, pitch. High is high, treble bass, right? Enhanced came out circa Pro Tools 7.4 when they were doing all the uh, elastic time stuff. Just experiment, see what you like the best, but enhanced is often the best. Sometimes if you do sub beats, you get a lot of shite. <laughs> so I'm gonna do beats here and then say generate. Preserve take position. In this case, it actually isn't going to matter because we have no MIDI in place, so it doesn't matter. But if we did, if we said preserve sample position, the MIDI wouldn't move to this new grid we're making, which is almost never going to be useful. So generally speaking, preserve tick position. Say OK. Made all those little tempo changes that you can see now up there in the tempo map. If you hit play, you're going to hear the click. going really right along with that. And I can tell by, like we can always go back and fix some of this stuff manually later if we need to, but I can tell the broad strokes of that were pretty good. So I'm gonna go through this eight bars at a time just that way. So now I'm gonna go forward slash once, forward slash on my numeric keypad. I'm gonna hit nine, then forward slash, forward slash, eight, enter. Now I got that selection. Now I'm gonna go capture again, analyze again. And if you see these real evenly like that, that's a really good sign because that means it's, it's not going to give you screwy, weird uh, errors. So I'm going to generate. Okay. Always listen. Always go through and listen to the whole thing. I'm going kind of fast because it's a video here. Although I'm pretty confident that those are good. Cool. I'm going to go forward slash 17, forward, 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 eight, enter. Uh, no, I messed up. Forward slash 17, forward, forward. I uh, went too many forwards. Eight, enter. Capture. Analyze, ooh, they look nice. A little weirdness there, but I think that's actually what it's seeing. It's not screwing with me. Generate, boogie. So then we wanna go 25, forward slash 25, forward, forward, eight, enter. Zoom out, zoom in, using RNT to do that. Capture, analyze, Yahtzee, go. Good, forward, 33. And again, always listen. I'm just going through the process here, although I, I, I feel like that was pretty good. Forward slash eight, enter. Capture, analyze. That looks very nice. Generate, go, enter equals go. Forward slash 41, forward, forward, eight. Zoom out, R, zoom in, T, capture analyze 
Yahtzee. Then I'm going to go 40, forward slash, 49, forward, forward, 8. Oh, I bumped 85. Forward, 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 8. Capture, analyze. Go. Now, if when I'm going through the process, I need to manually move any of those, I can, but you can see I pretty quickly there got a really, 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 really detailed tempo map of this whole song. So now any MIDI that we do after the fact is going to sync exactly to that tempo map. So it's going to sound like the tightest band in history. So I'm going to wrap this one here and I'm going to come in and do some more with some MIDI drums. Thanks for checking it out.